A lot of us are exercising in our own home as we get through life in quarantine. One Cary resident, Jackie Hunt Brushma, took it to the next level, becoming the first amputee to run 100 miles in the comfort of her own home. The longest Jackie had ever gone on a treadmill prior to last weekend was 10 miles. It kind of feels like it was a little bit last minute decision because I was, am I running outside? Am I running on the treadmill? The original plan was to run the Umstead 100 Ultra, a race through Umstead Park. Once that got canceled, Jackie started brainstorming alternatives. And I would have to do 200 laps around the neighborhood to do to get to the 100 miles. But I had done some research and found out an amputee hadn't done 100 miles on a treadmill before. So I thought, oh, that would be quite a good challenge. A challenge she completed in 23 hours and 38 minutes. It was definitely the hardest, hardest thing I've ever done, um, just from a mental point of view. That's quite a statement considering all that Jackie has endured, from losing a limb to cancer almost 20 years ago, to learning how to walk again. Without much planning, she jumped on the treadmill not knowing if it would abruptly stop or even work all day and night. I don't have the most expensive treadmill. It's just we, I mean, we bought it on sale. So it was like, hey, we'll see. It's My balance isn't that gray on the treadmill, especially running with, with a blade. Um, and I'm always, either I'm hitting the front of the treadmill I'm, or I'm kind of flying off the back. With a cheering squad outside on the patio, Jackie made it through, stopping only for bites of pizza and bathroom breaks. For her efforts, she received some blisters and bruises on her stump and a coveted buckle earned by hitting the century mark. Especially being the first amputee to run on a treadmill for 100 miles and to do it under 24 hours, I was like, wow, yeah, I did it. I do all these hard things because it, it shows that you can do whatever you want to. Anything is possible. Around the 62 mile mark, she hit a wall and nearly quit, but kept on going. I'm just. I'm thankful for my body that I'm able to do this um, and I'm just, I'm in awe because it's just, it's just amazing. With